Several people dead, at least four people hurt, and this pedestrian bridge collapsed. Um, and so now rescue workers are trying to get to those people who are trapped in their cars. I'm for sure they're trapped in their cars, but they're trying to get to them safely. And then the next step will be obviously removing all of that debris. So this is going to be a scene for quite some time. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue has responded uh, with multiple, multiple units right now. Stay away from this area if you can. It's 107th Avenue at the FIU campus there, Southwest 8th Street. Ralph had a good tip. Uh, if you need to get to this area, go off Coral Way and Southwest 16th Street. And this is, uh, Ralph is zooming in on this huge crane, which again, we don't know if it was in the area for a specific reason, or if they're moving it to actually help move some of that concrete to get to those people who are possibly trapped. Um, getting a little more information here at the news desk, the bridge was installed, and intended eventually to provide pedestrian access, as we've said, across Tamiami Trail from FIU's main campus to Sweetwater, because if you've ever tried to cross that roadway, you know it is precarious. Thousands of students live off campus housing or in FIU's newer dorms. So, again, this was a pedestrian bridge meant to help students get from one side of the roadway to the next. There have been p pedestrians who have been injured there, so this was supposed to be a helpful thing. Everybody was excited about this pedestrian bridge. It was a first of a kind in its world to be built off site and then swung into action, and now this. Was it an integrity problem? Too soon to tell. That's going to be for investigators in the many weeks and months to come. Right now, the job at hand, the task at hand is treating the wounded. Several people dead, at least four people hurt. One of them, a trauma alert, transported to Kendall Regional Medical Center and getting to those drivers and possible passengers who may be trapped underneath this bridge because we do know for a fact there are cars underneath this bridge um, with all this concrete on top of them. How are they going to get to them? That remains to be seen. Let's go back to Ralph. Ralph, can you hear me? I can hear you, Lynn. We're uh, continuing as uh, everybody watching with us is uh, the uh, developments here at this uh, pedestrian bridge collapse here at Florida International University at the main campus here, uh, 109th Avenue and Southwest 8th Street. This uh, structure coming down uh, 40 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago now, fire rescue from Miami-Dade uh, responding out here along with their police department and the FIU police and first responders and civilians here aiding those who were injured when the structure came down on vehicles that were traveling in both directions, east and west. Uh, you saw in some of our earlier video those uh, vehicles smashed under tons and tons of concrete and the rubble that was created when this structure came down. Fire rescue transferring, uh, transporting and or treating and transporting at least four patients that we've seen so far uh, leave the area here. They're all the way over at uh, Kendall Regional Medical Center there off of 41st Street in the Turnpike, not too far of a drive, so they're getting good medical attention. Uh, we, we have confirmed or have received information that there are several people dead here, uh, in, uh, injured and are dead in their cars. Uh, the heavy rescue team from Miami-Dade Fire Rescue has arrived here on the scene. Or they're getting ready to deploy. In the meantime, fire rescue officials uh, asked uh, our news helicopter to back away so that they could listen. Uh, that we would imagine that the urban rescue team will come along with. Uh, they'll be with their. They have a couple of canines that they use that they use uh, to get into small crawl spaces and areas uh, when they have a collapse like this. They're. Uh, heavily trained and go through intensive training to uh, respond to situations like this. So they will be uh, here on the scene uh, conducting an investigation and trying to get to anyone else who might be uh, still trapped underneath in one of those vehicles.